Hey, we're looking at a uh, raid boss hit that was sent in to me today and we first of all see that the raid boss went first and killed Gorak. Nefro revived him. So that's nicely done. It nullifies the fact that the raid boss has a higher speed and also um, straight away gives Gorak a, high, a lower HP. And since he hits harder, the lower HP he has, I think that's a great way of uh, killing two birds with one stone. So we're seeing the invincibility on Gorak, and that is getting his HP even lower. So I like what I'm seeing so far, um, getting Martin's taunt up before the raid boss goes off. That Nefra Martin combo is definitely a great one. It can absorb a lot of damage. Yeah, I think this is doing, you know, an excellent job so far, honestly. Um, Nefra and Martin are taking the tile damage pretty well. The, uh, the raid boss special is also handled pretty well. In terms of tile movements, I think that um, you're consistently getting the heroes to charge, which is always a good sign. I would just say that uh, just before the raid boss's turn can be a good idea to match away both purples and yellows. I think you are doing that, um, but just to, you know, reiterate. Um, the yellows, because that will ch help the raid boss to charge. That won't do high damage against Martin, however, because he is yellow. But if the raid boss does find a bunch of purple tiles, you could find yourself... Um, been in a difficult situation. I do see that you have the revive potion there though, so um, I expect that it will be pretty easy to recover even if something like that does happen and if uh, Martin does die. Yeah, so I think that you know, keep up the good work. This is um, great. And I also learned from this, I've never used the invincibility potion uh, on Gorek this way. So, um, you know, great idea. I love it. And well done. Keep it up. See you next time. Thank you.